Chapter 9, Mishnah 10. In a continuation of the previous Mishnah, the Tana discusses another case of an heir who may not keep his inheritance. If someone says to his son, Konam, if you benefit from what is mine, that is, he made a vow, Neder, forbidding his son to have benefit from his property. When he dies, the son inherits him. That is, the son is allowed to have benefit from his father's estate. Since the father said, what is mine, he intended to prohibit his property, prohibit his property only as long as it belonged to him, and not after his death, when it is no longer his. However, if he declares his property forbidden to his son during his lifetime and after his death, for example, he said, Konam, if you benefit from what is mine during my lifetime and after my death, when he dies, the son does not inherit him. That is, he may not benefit even from his own share of his father's estate, because the father said that the prohibition lasts even after death. And so he must return his share of the estate to his father's sons or his father's brothers, i.e. Ah, i.e. the other heirs of his father. The Tana provides a way for the son to keep his share. But if he does not have enough money to buy food, he may borrow money, and then his lender can come and collect the debt from his share of the estate. This is permitted because the son thereby benefits from his share only indirectly.